continued for the fourth weekend in a row. Mara Sirianni takes us to historic Big Bethel AME, where one group led the charge against police brutality and racial injustice. Today's march began on the steps of historic Big Bethel. It was led by the brothers of Omega Sci-Fi, included about 400 people with some very prominent speakers. It's a shame Atlanta with all these black people don't have a hate crime bill that focuses when they kill black men and women. Georgia is one of a handful of states without such law. A major talking point Saturday for civil rights attorney Ben Crump. There seems to be two justice systems in America, one for black America and one for white America. And what we endeavor to achieve is equal justice for the United States of America and all of its citizens. Crump is the attorney for the families of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. Their deaths have sparked protest movements across the country. We got charges in Ahmaud Arbery, we got charges in George Floyd, but yet this black woman who was executed in her own apartment, there have been no charges. We have to give black sisters the same recognition. Crump says the firing of Officer Brett Hankison in Breonna Taylor's case Friday was a good start. Protester Neftias Lands knows there is still work to be done. She has a young daughter and says taking action now is imperative for future generations. Have to get out and vote, have to use our buying power, have to uh, speak up, you know, whenever you see injustices out in the streets. I mean, it's time. Also speaking at today's march, Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson calling for police reform. America is awakened to the reality that too many, and too far too many black lives don't matter, and uh, America is taking that seriously. Protesters also had the chance to register to vote with booths on site. In Metro Atlanta this morning, protesters also took to Stone Mountain. The group met up with hopes of it ending with helping to end racism and bring about social change. While protesting, organizers made sure to make voter registration available for anyone that needed help amplifying their voices during the election season. There's many ways that you can protest and show your support and show that you want change in this country. One of those is protesting, marching, Registering to vote is another one. Um, you know, as a black person in America, we know that people died for us to have the right to vote. So when we exercise that right, we are we are doing what is our ancestors wanted us to do and what they fought and died for. So. Protesters said they are not just there to speak against police in Georgia, but want to see all of the injustices against African Americans end in their community as well as the country. Meanwhile, another protest today demanding justice.